hi everyone welcome back to the ext.js video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn how we can create the stores and other things about the stores so let's get start so these are the three points uh, that we are going to cover in this video so first of all we will discuss about the what is a store and then we will make a store and after that we will integrate the store with the view all right as you see in the last video we just create a uh, we just create the grid and in this grid we use the static data but now we are not going to use the static data inside here we will use the data from the store all right so if you want to make a grid uh, or, or if you just learn about the grid in the last video then you can continue from the here all right but in this video i am not going to describe about the grid so you can watch our previous video for the more details the link is given in the description box so here you can see the output is here all right so just i am just going to remove this static data from my store all right so i can just save it and you will see there is no data here for now all right so now what I can do, uh, I will make a file first of all, so that we can uh, define a new view. Ah, sorry, store. So just go to the store folder, and here I am just going to create a new file with the extra dot js. So extra means it will define the store name is an extra, or you can take the another other name also. So just write here some code to define the store. So just use the ext define just cover up with the space and here as you know our first uh, parameter for the namespace and the name of the uh, store dot store which this is the folder name and extra it is the same name as the file name and in the second parameter we can define the properties so extend for use the inherit the class ext dot data dot store store should be capital here and now we can use the alias and in the alias you can put the name whatever you want to uh, show here so like I want to just use the store dot extra so when I just call the store I, I have to just put the extra here all right so fine so now I'm just going to define a proxy here all right so in the proxy uh, I have to pass the actually two parameter one is the type of proxy all right so this is the memory and so because now I, I'm not going to use the API otherwise the video will go into too much long so I'm just going to uh, take the some object here so we will call from here all right so type is our memory and uh, there is a reader and the reader with there is a two parameter also so one for the type what type of data we are using and data we are using is the JSON all right and the second is the root property I will show you what is the root property here and just for now I'm just going to put it the blank all right so now uh, let's define the data here for define the data we have we are using the data property here and here we will define the all our data objects so I to save the time I already made the data property here then you can just copy from here so that if you can save the time all right here you will get the properties now so now everything is ready so we can call this store here so now let's see how we can uh, possible so for that just you have to uh, use the type property and in the type property I can use the store name which is the extra so now it should work so let's see is it working or not so if there is some error then we have to resolve them okay so as you can see we got the error here alright so let's catch up it so I think I just uh, rerun the command I think the code is fine so sometimes it's work fine when we just uh, 
rerun the sencha command so it will just take some time and let's see what's going on yep so it's working now but there is no data as you can see uh, here because in the root property we have to provide the main object here so if I just provide the items here then it should work alright so now let's try it now you can see that we got the data here so let's say if there is an item then we have to use the item the same property here with the same data alright so you can keep that mind so pro proxy if you don't know about the what is that code so let's explain the code the proxy when we use the proxy then it will determine that we have to uh, use uh, some data inside our cache uh, according to its definition so the store class use some uh, uh, data inside of the cache so when we just uh, type here uh, memory then it will think that the data is coming from the memory otherwise the data will also come from the api for that we will use the ajax all right and the reader type will define the what kind of data we are using and the what is the root property of that so if you don't have any root property here then you can then put it blank also all right so fine so if you want to just check with some data then you can also check this so if you want to provide some validations here so then you can use the model but in this video we are not going to discuss about the model in the next video we will discuss about the model what is the role of model and why we use the things all right so i think the everything is clear in this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks guys